channel. I've come here to give a study this morning, and the study will be the cave and the field. And we're going to start our study this morning in Genesis chapter 23, starting with verse 1. And Sarah was 107 and 20 years old. These were the years of the life of Sarah. Sarah meaning princess, noble lady, chief ruler. Also means to retain liquid, an umbilical cord, a bracelet, a sinew. Um, as to wrestle as Jacob did uh, with the angel, angel being a spiritual messenger of the spirit, um, unity based on the retention of knowledge. Choose the messenger of the spirit or uh, the messenger of man. That being the wrestling. A hundred years old uh, was Abraham and his wife being 91 when Isaac was born. Uh, God considered Isaac the rightful heir to the, um, the promised seed. Uh, of the stars of the spirit and seven represent spiritual completeness and 20 meaning a, a complete or perfect waiting period and Sarah died in Cur uh, Curia the, the same uh, Arba the same as Hebron in the land of Canaan and Abraham came to mourn for Sarah uh, and to weep for her um, Cur uh, Curia uh, Arba uh, curia are uh, curia meaning to meet come together uh, to be summoned to call forth to assemble and arba meaning uh, for uh, to be square human to stretch out lie down a resting place and hebron meaning a place of joining and canaan meaning to synchronize as to give up individual uh, learnings in order to unite more effectively as a group um, as in wrestling with the angel and also a land of purple, purple being the color of nobility as in the noble lady. Abraham meaning to be strong, pinions um, being symbolic of angel wings, not as to fly physically, but to protect, and Sarah being that noble lady. And Abraham stood up from before his dead and spake unto the sons of Heth, saying, He stood up um, from before his dead, dead representing of those that are of the flesh that are dead spiritually um, not of the spirit uh, they're still in the teachings of man sons being builders of the family of heth heth meaning to be depleted of strength courage and willpower uh, that being the wrestling of man and the spirit uh, we are to pull um, from the right side um, the flesh uh, is being the left side uh, there's two um, type there were the um, the flesh and the spirit that war against each other. I am a stranger and a sojourner with you. Give me a possession of a burying place with you that I may bury my dead out of my sight. I uh, am, I being Yahweh, the spirit, and am being the vessel he chooses to speak through, um, spirit-filled, uh, the Lord of hosts. Um, um, sojourner, um, a stranger, pilgrims, as in distinguished from the nature of um, from the natural citizen, a foreigner. Uh, he is um, not of the spirit. Um, there are those that are not of the spirit of the flesh, um, the two different seeds. Um, bury in place as in a sepulcher. A sepulcher is a small room or monument cut in a rock built of stone where a dead person is laid. Spiritually, the Lord is our rocket. And, um, and deliver um, my God my strength and whom I trust my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower he is the rock of our salvation to save us from death he he Jesus Christ who went before us defeating death becoming the first begotten of the spirit and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock um, was uh, Christ uh, Sarah meaning to retain a liquid that I may bury my dead out of my sight. The sepulcher uh, of the stars uh, in the rock and then the field for the dead. And the children of Heth answered Abraham saying unto him, Hear us, my Lord, thy art a mighty prince among us in the choice of our sepulchers, bury thy dead. And none of us shall withhold from thee his sepulcher, but that thy mayest bury thy dead. Uh, they are calling him a prince. Uh, Sarah was a princess, a noble lady, a protector of the seed um, in the choice of our sepulchers, bury the dead. 
the sepulcher was the burying place of the spirit. Uh, that one sepulcher, um, not many. Uh, the spirit of um, that spirit uh, shall not be uh, withheld from from with we said um, none of us shall withhold from the his sepulcher uh, that being um, the spirit of Yahweh um, that being that rock but thou mayest bury thy dead as in the flesh. They have no power over um, the sepulcher. It is his. Uh, then um, seven. And Abraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, even to the children of Heth. And he communed with them, saying, If it be your mind that I should bury my dead out of my sight, hear me and entreat for me to Ephron, the son of Zohar. Uh, this being the dead um, out of my sight they are not included um, with the sepulcher they are separate Ephron means uh, loose earth uh, describing the condition between a solid and either dust or liquid when the material is not exactly a formless liquid but it can be easily manipulated and scooped up dry being just dust that cannot be formed into any usable vessel until liquid is added and then it can be molded by the potter and zohar meaning to dry up uh, spiritually become depleted as um, the as the dust then he, that he may give me the cave at uh, Machpelah, uh, which he hath, which is in the end of his field for as much money as is worth he shall give it for me a possession of a burying place amongst you he may give me not buy it, but give. Makpala, um, meaning double. Um, this um, cave belongs to Yahweh, and he, and he is not to be purchased. He is Yahweh, the creator of all. He owns everything. Hebron, meaning a place of joining, double. And Canaan, meaning to synchronize as to give up individual learning in order to unite more effectively as a group, a land of... Um, purple nobility this being that burying place um the sepulcher the rock and hebron dwelt among the children of heth and hebron the hittite answered abraham in the audience of the children of heth even of all that went in at the gate of his city saying he dwelt among the children of heth he was not of them but dwelt among them heth meaning to be depleted and hebron meaning the the dust that comes together with the liquid uh, coming into spiritual awareness uh, hittite comes from the name heth and gate being the court of law uh, in hephron the hittite there are two types of people there are those with the water to be pliable and then there are those of the hittite being depleted just dust and then 11 and nay, my Lord, hear me, the field give I thee, the cave that is therein, I give it thee, in the presence of the sons of my people give I it thee, bury thy dead. This be in Hephron the Hittite, answering Abraham, the mighty prince, the protector of the seed. He is saying, hear me, listen to me, um, the field give I thee. He is putting the field of the dead um, before I, being Yahweh. And the cave, as in that rock, that sepulcher representing um, of Jesus Christ, I give uh, it thee. He is putting I before, um, being of Heth, the children of the spiritually dead, depleted, before the rock, as in I, and um, they have to, um, the power to give it, when it is already in the power of the seed of the stars. Um, thy seed shall possess the gate of, thy, of his enemies. Verse 10 the gate of the city he says in the sons of my people give i it thee he is trying to take back the control of that rock and abraham bowed down himself before the people of the land and he spoke unto Hef hephron in the audience of the people of the land saying but if thy will give it i pray thee hear me i will give thee money for the field take it of me and i will bury my dead there but if but if thou will give it, it is not to be purchased, merchandise, I will give thee money for the field. In verse 9, the sepulcher was to be given to him. 
he is purchasing the field. Prophetically, this field will be the potter's field where they threw the broken pots that were not usable into the burning pit. But with the fire, they will be refined, purified to be fit for the potter to mold them back into usable vessels. He, um, had not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and the other unto dishonor? But now, O Lord, thy art our father, we are the clay, and thy are our potter, and we are the work of thy hand. And Hephron answered Abraham, saying unto him, And my Lord hearken unto me, the land is worth four hundred shekels of silver. What is that between me and thee? Bury therefore thy dead. Hephron, as in facts being learned from uncleanness, and Abraham being a protector of the, of that righteous seed. Uh, the number 14, I mean, the number 400 is derived by multiplying 8 by 50, divinely perfect period. God made a covenant with Abraham, revealing to him his descendants would be afflicted, as in Heth, being spiritually depleted in a foreign land, as in verse 4, for 400 years. But Yahweh promised after this period to bring them back into the land of Canaan, meaning the land of nobility, land of purple. 400 shekels of silver, silver being of God's children, and he shall sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. They will be depleted in spiritual strength for 400 years until that time appointed when they will be uh, wakened up. Um, then uh, 16, and Abraham hearkened unto Hebron, and Abraham weighed to Hebron the silver, which he had named in the audience of the sons of Heth, 400 shekels of sir, uh, silver, current money with the merchant. Uh, Abraham weighed to Hebron the silver, because he is righteous. They are weighed in the balances and uh, not found wanting. They do not add up, being they are deceitful and righteous. And the field of Hebron, which was in um, um, Mac, um, Pila, which was... Um, up before Mamre the field and the cave which was therein and all the trees that were in the field and were in all the borders round about were made sure. Mamre meaning to be strong, bitter, uh, difficult situations, uh, gall, poison, also means a marker, a signpost, um, to be stiff, erect. The field that representing of the 400 years of affliction and the cave which was therein, not before Mamre but therein. Machpila meaning double, and all the trees in the field, trees representing of the people that were in the field, um, as in the state of the dead, but were purchased to come um, to come forth at the point of time, those broken pots, to be molded back together for usable vessels. Uh, they were purchased with a price, that being the price, um, that being the potter's field, 30 pieces of silver, that Judas... Um, Judas, one that held the money bag of, of the twelve that merchandised the Lord, uh, Yahweh, as as he what he as he was a field to be purchased, um, but that um, thirty pieces of silver, thirty symbolizing a dedication to a particular task or calling. The Aaronic priests were initially uh, dedicated to serve at thirty years of age, and also John the Baptist began his ministry at thirty. And Christ began to pro, uh, publicly speak, speak at 30. He, uh, he bought, redeemed the potter's field. He being our high priest Melchizedek that now sits on the right hand of God till he comes to make his enemies his footstool, those that merchandise the Holy Spirit. Uh, verse 18, And unto Abraham for a possession in the presence of the children of Heth before all that went in the gate of his city. And after this, Abraham bur buried Sarah his wife in the cave of the field of, of Machpelah um, before Mamre, the same as Hebron in the land of Canaan. Uh, after this, then Abraham buried Sarah in the cave in the rock, the sepulcher. Sarah meaning noble lady, princess, she being the first of Israel to go into that rock, um, that being um, prophetically, um, that will be the acrostics of Israel. And the field and the cave that is therein, we made sure unto Abraham for a possession of a burying place by the sons of Heth. Uh, the burying place, meaning that sepulcher, being what will prophetically hold Israel, the acrostics that will make up the name Israel. 
And then uh, I'm going to go over to Genesis 49, starting with um, verse 29. And he charged them and said unto them, I am to be gathered unto my people. Bury me with my fathers in the cave that is in the field of Hephron the Hittite. Uh, and he charged them, this being Jacob, not Israel speaking. He says the cave that is in the field of Hephron the Hittite. Uh, these are the two Hephrons. In verse 10, Hephron that dwelt among the children of Heth and Hephron the Hittite. He is saying of the Hittite as to be depleted of the water. We are to be careful who is speaking, for there are the two sides of man, Jacob speaking in the flesh and his seed, and Israel speaking in the spirit and his seed. And the cave that is in the field of Machpelah, which is before Mamre in the land of Canaan, which Abraham bought with the field of Ephron, the Hittite, for a possession of a burying place, which is before Mamre, meaning to be bitter, difficult situations, gall, poison. And there they buried Abraham and Sarah, his wife, there. They buried Isaac and Rebekah, his wife, and there I buried Leah. Uh, there they buried Abraham and Sarah, his wife. There they buried Isaac and Rebekah, his wife. And there I buried Leah. Leah was not um, the womb that will bring forth the promised seed. She was we guide. And the purchase of the field and of the cave that is therein was from the children of Heth. Uh, not of uh, the cave. It was to be given. Um, he claims it was from the children of Heth. They were, um, they were given it. They did not purchase that cave. It belongs to Yahweh. And when Jacob had made an uh, end of commanding his sons, he gathered up his feet into the bed and yielded up the ghost and was gathered unto his people. Jacob was gathered unto his people, yielded up uh, the ghost, that being of the Holy Spirit, depleted as in the children of Heth of the field. And were gathered unto his people uh, of the field. And um, Genesis 51, And Joseph fell upon his father's face, and he wept upon him and kissed him. Uh, Joseph, meaning, may he add, the increaser, prophetically, being the two witnesses, uh, Revelation 11, verse 1, And there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and them that worship therein. He fell upon his father's face. He is able to look upon his father's face, approach the throne, his father being Israel. Uh, that being um, um, not... Um, being him the ghost that was yielded up and kissed him as to attach oneself um, being Yahweh and Joseph commanded his servants the physicians to embalm his father and the physicians embalmed Israel um, that being his servants the physicians um, the leaders to embalm as to preserve his father that being Israel not Jacob but Israel he is preserved not yielded up as Jacob. And forty days were fulfilled for him, for so were fulfilled the days of those which are embalmed. And the Egyptians mourned for him threescore and ten days. Forty days meaning probation. Um, probation means the release of an offender from detention subject to a period of good behavior under supervision. The process of period of testing or observing the character or abilities of a person in a certain role. That being that 400 year period were fulfilled for him, that being Yahweh, Israel. The, um, the perfect waiting period after the, uh, the affliction of the period of 400 years, represented of the 400 shekels of silver that bought the field, days of those which are embalmed as to be preserved. The Egyptians are of the perverse spirit. They mourn for him being of Jacob. Seventy being made up of the factor of two numbers, Hebron meaning a place of joining, double. Two perfect numbers, seven representing perfection and ten representing the completeness of God's laws. Also symbolizing uh, a perfect spiritual um, order uh, carried out with all power. Also a period of judgment. Ancient Israel spent a total number of 70 years in captivity in Babylon, 70 being connected to Jerusalem, 
prophetically meaning truth. Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. The city kept 70 years of Sabbath, while Judah was in Babel, Babylonian captivity, 77s, 490 years, were determined upon Jerusalem to complete its transgressions, to make an end for sins, for everlasting righteousness to enter into it. The earthly noble lady, that being that oldest uh, reigning monarch in British history, uh, Ephraim, meaning double, uh, reigning 70 years, it is fulfilled. And when Jacob had made an end of commanding his sons, he gathered up his feet into the bed and he yielded up the ghost and was gathered unto his people. It is now time for that spiritual noble lady to come forth. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. He gathered up his feet into the bed and upon her head a crown of 12 stars the seed of the stars, those that are in balm, preserved, eternal, that will come forth at their appointed time, uh, his eternal throne, not earthly throne, when man will, um, will not pass it on to another man, but to God, the, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He holds the rule and scepter, not man. She'd be in that footstool, and, and the moon, um, that lesser light, is under her feet. And four, and when the days of his mourning were past, Joseph spake unto the house of Pharaoh, saying, If now have I found grace in your eyes, speak, I pray you, in the ears of Pharaoh, saying, Now it's time for Joseph to speak. Um, if now I have found grace in your eyes. John meaning Yah is gracious. That being that Elijah ministry that will come before the coming of that great and dreadful day of the Lord. Uh, this ministry will prepare you for his arrival in the spirit. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. These being the two fathers, Jacob, sons of the flesh, and Israel, sons of the spirit, the field and the sepulcher, one that was purchased and one that was given. My father made me swear, saying, Lo, I die in my grave, which I have digged for me in the land of Canaan, there shall I bury me. Now, therefore, let me go up, I pray thee, and bury my father, and I will come again. Um, which I, in my grave, uh, I die in my grave, which I have digged for me in the land of Canaan. Um, in my grave, which I have digged for me in the land of Canaan, that be in the field. Now, therefore, let me go up, I pray thee and bury my father be in Israel and I will come again as to be preserved um, be embalmed and and Pharaoh said go up and bury thy father according as he made thee swear uh, this being up Israel is not digged into the, into the ground Uh, and Joseph went up to bury his father and went and, and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house and all the elders of the land of Egypt. Joseph went up to bury his father, uh, that being Israel of the stars, the celestial. And all the house of Joseph and his brethren and in his father's house, only their little ones and their flocks and their herds they left in the land of Goshen. Goshen meaning to draw, uh, draw near. This being where they are separated from the people of Egypt, Egypt being of the perverse spirit. The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Um, and the little ones being the small in number, being um, God's elect. Um, and there went up with him both chariots and horsemen, and it was a very great company. The heavenly host will also assist us. And they came to the threshing floor of um, Atad, uh, which is beyond Jordan, and there they mourned with a great and very sore lamentation, and he made a mourning for his father seven days. Atad meaning bramble, thorn, to pierce, um, mourning for Jacob, and he made a mourning for his father seven days. Seven meaning spiritual completeness, that seventy years, that being for Israel. 
And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning in the mourning in the floor of Atad, they said, This is a grievous mourning to the Egyptians. Wherefore the name of it was called Abel um, Mizraim, which is beyond Jordan, uh, to the Egyptians, as in the perverse spirit. Abel Mizraim, meaning mourning of Egypt. And his sons did unto him according as he commanded them. Uh, these being those that are of uh, Joseph. And for his sons carried him into the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave of the field of Machpelah, which um, Abraham bought with the field for a, a possession of a burying place of Hephron, the Hittite, before Mamre. His sons, as in the sons of Jacob of Hephron, the Hittite, meaning completed, depleted. And Joseph returned into Egypt, he, he and his brother, and all that went up with him to bury his father, and he had buried his father. And his brother, and as the promised seed, not of Leah, but of his mother, who, who brought forth the uh, covenant nations, that they be in the two fathers. So Joseph died being 110 years old. Ten years is le um, ten less than 120. 120 means a divinely appointed time of waiting, and 10 meaning testimony, law, responsibility, completeness of order. The testimony will come forth before that appointed time. And they embalmed him as to preserve him, that being Yahweh, that will be um, protected, that seed line of Israel. And he was put in a coffin, that being that flesh side of Joseph. And then I'm going to go over to John 11. verse 1 and there was a certain man uh, was sick named Lazarus of Bethany the town of Mary and her sister Martha Lazarus also meaning Eleazar. Eleazar was the son of Aaron who took over the priesthood of Aaron before he died. Lazarus meaning God has helped, um, helped of God. And Bethany meaning house uh, and to answer, uh, respond, a cycle. Also means to be busy, occupied, uh, afflict, humiliation. Um, the town of Mary meaning um, the beloved. Uh, and her sister, uh, Martha, meaning to be strong or um, bitter, um, difficult situations, um, to be bitter, gall, poison, also means uh, a marker, a signpost, to be stiff or erect, myrrh, a fragrant of spice to mark the tabernacle, and also for a, um, a consummation um, of marriage, oil of joy, also means to rebel. And then two, it was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Uh, she, um, being Mary, being the beloved, who recognized him as her high priest over man. Lazarus, representing of the priesthood under Aaron, being sick. Therefore his sisters sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thy lovest is sick. Uh, these being the two different sisters, behold, who he whom thy lovest is sick. John is he whom Jesus loved. John being Yah is gracious. This, um, that being um, prophetically that spirit of Elijah, that prophet who was to come to turn the hearts to the different fathers on uh, Jacob or Israel uh, to prepare the way for his arrival in the spirit. Um, he being um, that one that leaned upon his bosom, that being that heart womb. They are one in the hearts. He will turn the hearts to the different fathers. When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, uh, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Uh, this sickness will not be for death, but for the glory of God, that be in the glory of the stars, celestial, not earthly, uh, that will shine forth with the glory of God. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and uh, Lazarus. And when he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place uh, where he was, um, two meaning a union and also a division, or the verification of facts by two witnesses. A man and woman, though two in number, are made one in marriage, the union between Christ and his church. It will be Jesus Christ himself who will anoint his priesthood at the appointed time. 
um, Martha representing of those that are in the field waiting for that appointed time of waiting. Her sister, um, Mary, meaning the beloved, that will that is one uh, in Jesus Christ. And Lazarus, um, meaning that priesthood that is sick. Judah. Then after that, says he to his disciples, let us go into Judea again. Let us go into Judea again. That being from chapter 10, verse 22. And I'm just going to slip um, over to that. Uh, and it was at Jerusalem, the Feast of the Dedication, and it was winter. Jerusalem prophetically being a condition of truth, uh, the Feast of Dedication, this being when the temple was rededicated to God, and winter being not of the harvest time. We will have that time to rededicate, um, repent, get in good standing. And Jesus walked in, in the temple in Solomon's uh, porch. Uh, Solomon's porch is where the Gentiles could go. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long dost thou make us doubt? If thy be the Christ, tell us plainly. Uh, it will happen when your spiritual eyes will be opened by Yahweh at the appointed time. He will reveal himself to his children, uh, this being that anointed one, Christos. And Jesus answered them, I told you and you believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Oh, wait a minute. Did I pass something? 24, 25. But you believe me not because you are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. The, there will be the two different um, people, those that will hear spiritually and those that will need to be told plainly. Uh, my sheep hear my voice because they have went into the wilderness where they were able to learn to discern the difference um, from the teachings of man versus um, that the teachings of the spirit of the good shepherd to guide them and i give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand um, they will not perish as the others that went before us um, they are being they these are ones that are in embalmed as as um, preserved no man can pluck them out of the hand because they are of the spirit um, they will recognize um, that false prophet and my father which i gave them me is greater than all and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand i and my father are one they will be one in judah one in christ jesus then the jews took up stones again to stone him and jesus answered them many good works have i showed you from my father from which of those works do you stone me and, the Jews, and then the Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because that thou being a man makest thyself God. Uh, he said in verse uh, 30, I and my father are one. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said you were gods? Um, that being um, in Exodus 20, uh, they were making themselves as gods. Uh, he said um, he is not a man uh, making himself as a god. He is one with God. They are uh, one in the spirit. He is of the eternal, not of the flesh. They serve. Um, if he called them gods unto whom the word of God come and the scripture cannot be broken. Say you of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest because I said I am the Son of God? If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though you believe not me, believe the works that you may know and, and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Uh, Father is in me and I in him. They are one. Therefore, they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hands uh, to take him, uh, that being Yahweh. They want to extinguish that vessel that holds him and went away again beyond Jordan into the place where John at first baptized. And there he abode, this being where John first baptized, the place where he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. 
and many resorted unto him, that being Yahweh, and said, John did no miracle, but all things that John spoke of this man were true. And many believed on him there. Uh, they believed on him. John being that prophet that will come before the great and dreadful day of the Lord to turn the heart of the fathers, uh, that being Jacob or Israel, um, to the, um, that being to the heart womb. Um, the bosom and then we're going to go John 11 verse 8 and his disciples says unto him master the Jews of late sought to stone thee and goest thou hither again and Jesus answered are there not 12 hours in the day if any man walk in the day he stumbleth not because he seeth the light of this world these being the children of the day not of the night they are of the light because they see the light of this world that being Yahweh the glory that will shine forth at the appointed time to come forth they will understand discern it but if a man walk in the night he stumbleth because there is no light in him these being the children of the night without that light they are not able to see spiritually um, they have to be um, to have things uh, explained to them plainly uh, and they still don't get it uh, 11 these things said he and after that he says unto them our friend Lazarus sleepeth but I go that I may awake him out of sleep he is coming to awake him out of his sleeping slumber that being that old lion being roused up true Judah coming forth uh, to anoint his priesthood then said his disciples Lord if he sleep he shall do well how about Jesus spoke of his death but they thought he had spoken of taking rest and sleep this being his death, the death of that of the priesthood of Aaron, that being that 70 years coming to an end, it will be time for the uh, spiritual Judah to be raised up. It will no more. Um, it will be no more. It is done. Um, it is time for the eternal, um, the stars. Then said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. It's over with. No more. 70 years are determined. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there to the intent you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. And then said Thomas, which is called Dynamis, unto his fellow disciples, Let us also go that we may die with him. And then when Jesus came, he found that he had lain in the grave four days already. Four days being Arba. Genesis 23, verse 2. Um, Sarah died in uh, Curia, um, Curia uh, Arba. Curiad means to um, to be summoned, call, an assembly. And Arba meaning four, uh, to lie down, a resting place, um, a human uh, square, square representing of the flesh man. You will have to choose the sepulcher or the field. And now Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem, about 15 furlongs off. 15 meaning rest when it comes after deliverance represented by 14 god told abraham in a vision just as the sun was setting to begin nias in 15 that his descendants would end up as slaves in a foreign country but it would eventually be set free and many of the jews came to martha and mary to comfort them concerning their brother um, there is martha uh, representing of the field of the broken pots to come together being molded by the potter uh, at the appointed time um, and Mary um, meaning um, the beloved Martha being um, those that need things explained plainly to them and, and, um, and Mary being um, those that can discern spiritually and then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Uh, we, um, as, as soon as to, as to hear, we are to wait for him. He will come to us. He knows where we are. Um, he, um, he is the one that um, presents the meat. And then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thy had us been here, my brother had not died. Um, he does not have to physically be with us. He's a spirit, not, not in a physical form. But we are to have the faith uh, in that spirit, um, what we can't see. But I know that even now, whatsoever thy will ask of God, God um, will give it thee. 
And Jesus says unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Then Jesus said, Thy brother shall rise again, because she um, looks on the outward man, uh, the priesthood of Aaron. Uh, he's plainly telling her. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. It will be that uh, spiritual priesthood under the high priest Melchizedek. This happens in the last two and a half months of the five months of the Lord's day when the supernatural realm will be opened up. Yahweh will enter into the vessel he chooses to speak through, that being the two witnesses. And then the two witnesses will present Yahweh to the, uh, um, the elect and then the elect to the 144,000. And Jesus says unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Uh, I, as in the spirit, and am that vessel he chooses to speak through. Uh, though he were dead, as in uh, Lazarus, yet shall he live, as in Eleazar. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? That be in that spirit that is within the vessel, that I am. And she said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world, uh, which should come into the world. She's not recognizing that he is speaking to her um, right now. Um, and when she had said, well, yes, well, she's saying, she, I, I'm going to take that back. I'm sorry. Uh, she said, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, uh, as in Christos, the anointed one, the Son of God, which uh, should come into the world, which he will come prophetically into the world. And when she had so said, so said, she went her way and called Mary, her sister, secretly, saying, The Master is come and calleth for thee. Um, and as soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Uh, when she heard that address, calleth for thee. Uh, she arose and came unto him, that being um, the Spirit. And now G Jesus was not yet come unto the town, but was in the place where Martha met him, that being Bethany, meaning house, meaning to answer, respond, a cycle of time, a timely um, condition, also means to be busy, occupied, afflict, oppress, humiliation. And the Jews then, which were with her in the house, comforted her when they saw Mary. Then she rose up hastily and went out and followed her, saying, She goeth into the grave to weep there. Mary, meaning the beloved, she is going to meet I am. And then when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. Uh, she saw him, that being Yahweh, within the vessel. In verse 21, Martha said unto Jesus, Jesus uh, meaning Yeshua, Savior. Mary recognizes Yahweh, verse 25. She fell down at his feet, recognizing those feet as that footstool. He is that spirit. Uh, we have to understand that. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. He was troubled that they did not understand. This being Bethany and 15 furlongs, meaning um, rest uh, that comes after deliverance, represented by 14. This being that grace period um, for them to understand that he's a spirit um, before he comes in Revelation 19 um, when the spiritual realm will be open. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he does judge and make war. Uh, that being, I saw heaven open, that being that spiritual realm being opened up. Um, we are to discern spiritually um, because then it will be a different realm. We are to understand it, it will be in a spiritual realm. You have to discern. You cannot just look upon plainly. You have to understand in a spiritual realm. Plainly as seen in the flesh. You have to understand in the spirit. And said, Where have you laid him? And they said unto him, Lord, come and see. Where have you laid him? That be in that spirit that is to be preserved and balm, that never dies, that be in Yahweh, our high priest. And Jesus wept. Jesus wept because they did not get it. Then said the Jews, Behold how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not die? 
And Jesus, therefore, again groaning in himself, cometh to the grave. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. It was a cave, that being that cave, Maklaba, meaning double, um, uh, as in two, a monument, um, being um, this being a higher level of um, celestial. And then the lower level, grave, two levels of understandings. And a stone lay upon it, that being that stone of stumbling, blocking the way to that higher level of thinking um, by staying in the flesh, um, that being that wrestling um, of Jacob and the angel. And Jesus said, Take you away the stone. <clears throat> Martha, the sister of him that was dead, says unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said, take you away the stone. That being that stumbling block that blocks the way from death to life. It is now time for the spiritual man, that higher level of thinking to come forth. The Levitical priesthood under the high priest Melchizedek. He will be um, the one that will choose his um, priesthood. Martha being um, the sister of him that was dead, as in those that are of the field. He had been dead four days. Arba, meaning four, human, to square. Stretch, lie down, as in the fleshly level of thinking, flesh man, uh, that grave. And Jesus said unto him, said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God? We are to believe, have faith in what we cannot see. Uh, we are to listen um, to what we are told in his word. It is by faith we will be saved. Thy shall see the glory of God, his manifestation. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thy hast heard me. And I knew that thy heard me always, always because of the people which stand by. I said it, that they may believe that thy hast sent me. And, and when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. It is now time for Lazarus to come forth out of the sepulcher, um, where that noble lady who was buried uh, as to be preserved. Genesis 23, verse 19, that, that are preserved and balm for their appointed time to come forth. Israel, that acrostic. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. And Jesus says unto them, Loose him and let him go. Loose him, that being Yahweh, that old lion, and let him go. Him being said two times as in the two witnesses. It is Jesus that will loosen us from our fleshly prison. We will not be able to do that on our own. Jeremiah 32, 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the tenth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, which was the eighteenth year of Nechemeneser. Jeremiah meaning Yah loosens, Yah establishes, appoints, and sends. And ten meaning testimony, law, responsibility, completeness of order. Zedekiah meaning Yah is righteous. Zedekiah was that last ruling king of Judah. It is now uh, time for the true Judah uh, to rise up, to be established in the spirit. God will set up his righteous Judah of the celestial. Man ruling over Judah will be no more. They will be handpicked by our, the, the high priest um, uh, Melchizedek himself. This is when he will... Uh, come to you when you're sleeping. You will hear like the sound of church bells. They will ring twice as a double witness. The bells were on the bottom of the high priest's robe. You will then see a vision of a man sleeping with breath being blown on him. This will be the quickening, making you spiritually alive, where you be able to spiritually see and spiritually hear. When you see that vision of that man sleeping with breath being blown on him, this will let you know that you have been anointed in the, in the priesthood under the high priest Melchizedek. It is Jesus Christ himself who will anoint his priesthood. And 18 meaning symbolic of bondage. Nechemeneser meaning to speak on, in behalf of. Uh, uh, red, glow, a dart, a javelin. He being um, the king of Babylon of spiritual confusion that will come to resist true Judah by their babble. 
that cast those that stumbling block that stone for then the king of babylon's army besieged jerusalem and jeremiah the prophet was shut up in the court of the prison which was in the king of judah's house uh, the true prophet was shut up in the prison when you are shut up you are prevented from speaking uh, prophetically when they will kill the two witnesses that means killing of the prophet when you kill a prophet you kill his message his mouth jeremiah meanings yah loosens yah establishes and sends uh, three for zedekiah king of judah had shut him up saying wherefore does thy prophesy and say thus say the lord behold i will give this city into the hand of the king of babylon and he shall take it the, that being that flesh man resisting the Holy Spirit, uh, the true prophet. They want to hear smooth words, not uh, judgments uh, and instructions. Um, they want to, um, they are, they want to um, have numbers. Um, they being the ones that hold the money bag. If they tell them sweet things, they will come. And Zedekiah, king of Judah, shall not escape out of the hand of the Chaldeans, but shall surely be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon, and shall speak with him mouth to mouth, and his eyes shall behold his eyes. Judah will be under the control of Babylon. Everyone will be taken over by Babylon, but God's children will be born out of Zerubbabel, uh, the stars um, that will shine forth uh, with his glory of truth, not Babel. And he shall lead Zedekiah to Babylon, and there shall he be until I visit him, says the Lord. Though you fight with the Chaldeans, you shall not prosper. Um, we will not be able to physically fight against um, this uh, coming forth. This is what um, God is saying. Um, old Judah will, um, be coming, will come down um, through this. And um, God's children will be born out of Zerubbabel, Babel. And Jeremiah said, The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Behold, Hanamel, the son of Shalom, thy uncle, shall come unto thee, saying, Buy thee my field that is in Hananoth, for the right of the redemption is thine to buy it. Hanamel meaning God has favored, uh, that grace that comes from God, that being prophetically the Elijah ministry, that being that grace period before Yahweh comes in the spirit uh, to the earth. Shalom means to make whole or complete, a recompense, a covenant of peace. By thee my field, this is his field. Hananoth means to answer, respond, a cycle of time. Also to sing, a cohabitation. You have the right to buy this field. In Genesis 23, he told them in verse 4, Give me a possession of a burying place with you. And the children of Heth answered Abraham, saying unto him, Hear us, uh, my Lord, that thou art a mighty prince among us, as in the choices of our sepulchres, bury thy dead. None of us shall withhold from thee the sepulchre, but thou mayest bury thy dead. In verse 13, he purchased the, um, the field. I will give the money for the field. Uh, the 400 shekels of silver, Benjamin meaning son of thy right hand, son of the south, right hand being the spiritual side. Our high priest Melchizedek sits on the right hand of God till he comes to make his enemies his footstools. Uh, south meaning treasure house, uh, that being that uh, storehouse of Joseph, um, of knowledge, of truth that, was been, that has been reserved for us uh, during this spiritual famine. Because Joseph, meaning may he add the increaser, was embalmed, preserved. That being that spiritual storehouse. And then uh, nine, and um, let me go over. And I bought the field of Hanamel, my uncle's son, that was in the Hananoth, and weighed him the money, even 17 shekels of silver. 17 meaning overcoming the en enemy, complete victory. And I subscribed the evidence, and I sealed it, and took witnesses, and weighed him the money in the balances. Uh, subscribe as to record, make record as a book, weighed him in verse 8. The Lord said, um, bury um by my field, uh, and him being the spirit of Yahweh, um, the more um, the money on um, this field is to be bought, uh, money as in silver. 
The silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts, as in dual scales, as in Hebron, uh, meaning a place of um, joining double. Hananoth was the Levitical priest town in the territory of Benjamin. Jeremiah being a true prophet, Hananoth being his birthplace. Hananoth, Hananoth root word is to answer. But the people of Hananoth did not want to hear a true prophet of God who will give the warnings, uh, he, uh, being clothed in sackcloth, prophetically being the two witnesses. Uh, he foresaw judgment coming to the people because they refused that, the true prophet that will uh, sound the alarm, that, the warning, um, prophetically. And then 11, and so I took the evidence of the purchase, both that which was sealed according to the law and custom and that which was open. And I gave the evidence of the purchase unto Barak, the son of Neriah, the son of Maseah, uh, in the sight of Hanamel, my uncle's son, in the presence of the witnesses that subscribed the book of the purchase before all the Jews that sat in the court of the prison. Uh, Barak, meaning uh, to bless, also means knee. And Neriah, uh, um, meaning uh, to flow, or a stream of water, and light, uh, lamp of the Lord. And, Mas and Masariah, uh, Masariah, means to seek refuge. Yah is refuge. These being the Jews that sit in the court of the prison. And, the, and I charged Barak before them, saying, Thus say the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Take these evidences, this evidence of the purchase, both which is sealed, and um, this evidence which is open, and put them in an earthen vessel that they may continue many days. The evidence will be sealed to those who do not heed the warnings of the true prophet, Jeremiah, meaning Yah loosens, Yah establishes, and appoints and sends. He has sent his true prophet to buy back the priest's land. Seventeen shekels of silver, meaning seventeen of um, overcoming the enemy, complete victory and will be opened at the appointed time. That being the little book of judgments, what is subscribed as in verse 10, to make record as in a book. And we're going to read of the, that in Revelation 10, the little book. And starting with verse 8, And the voice which I heard from heaven spoke unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel, and I said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly, and it, and it but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand. Angel being a spiritual messenger, it is in the angel's hand as in power. And I ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter, because it will bring the judgments. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples, nations, and tongues, and kings. The peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues is what the beast will rise up out of. Uh, that will be where the judgments will take place. Those that listen to man and serve man's Savior over God. The earthen be vessel being that vessel that will hold these evidences. The field of the sons of Heth, meaning to be depleted of strength and courage and willpower. And the field of Hananoth being the true uh, priest town of those that hear of the Spirit. And then 15 for thus say the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, houses and fields and vineyards shall be possessed again in this land. The Lord of hosts, uh, who will have to inhabit a host uh, as an earthen vessel. Now when I deliver the evidence of the purchase unto Barak, the son of Neriah, I prayed unto the Lord, saying, O Lord God, behold, thy has made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. It is by thy great power and stretched out arm, not man's. The six-day man's labor and work will be finished. The sixth dimension of time will be finished. It is time for the priesthood uh, to come forth, a uh, handpicked by Yahweh, the, uh, the seventh dimension of time, that spiritual um, dimension of time. Thy, thy showest loving kindness unto thousands, and recompense the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. The great, the mighty God, the Lord of hosts, is his name. Uh, we are to understand he is the Lord of hosts of the Spirit uh, into the bosom of their children, that being the heart womb, one in Christ Jesus, being true Judah. 
Great in counsel and mighty in work, for thy eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men, to give every one according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Uh, the eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men, those being those that are of the flesh, according to his ways and doings. We are to be one with Yahweh. Um, the six-day man's labor will be finished. There will only be that one voice speaking on the Lord's day, and his name will be one. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth, and that day there shall be one Lord, and his name one. And which has set signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, even unto this day, and in Israel among other men, and has made thee a name uh, as at this day. Those signs and wonders are in the land of Egypt, Egypt prophetically being of the perverse spirit, this being the Lord's day, um, this name being um, the name of the Lord of hosts, as in verse 15, that, that right arm of power of his ruling scepter. Uh, God's children will be born out of Zerubbabel into truth. And thy has brought forth thy people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and with wonders and with a strong hand and with that stretched out arm and with great terror and has given them this land which thy didst swear to their fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey. Um, this being um, Hananoff uh, meaning to answer, respond as in a cycle of time, cohabitation, to sing. Uh, the land will be flowing with spiritual truths. And they came in and possessed it, but they obeyed not thy voice, neither walked in thy law. They have done nothing of all that thou hast commanded them to do. Therefore thou hast caused all this evil to come upon them. They have not obeyed the voice of Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. They are not listening to the judgments and the warnings, because they teach them smooth things. They are not prepared for what is spiritually coming upon this earth. They don't understand Yahweh. They only understand the milk, salvation, Jesus. Behold the mounts that are come unto the city to take it, and, and the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans that fight against it because of the sword of the famine and of the pestilence, and what thy hast spoken uh, is to come pass, and behold thy seest it. What the true prophet Jeremiah, meaning Yah, uh, loosens, Yah establishes, appoints, and sends. And now the famine is here. The Holy Spirit will be withdrawn. The four winds will be released. That will open up that supernatural realm. That boundary will be lifted for the supernatural to come in. They are not warning of this. They are teaching just salvation, prosperity, to be as gods. And I have said unto me, O Lord God, buy thee the field for money, and take witnesses, for the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans. For money, this being those seventeen shekels of silver, seventeen meaning overcoming the enemy, complete victory, this being the true Levitical priesthood with the voice of Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. But you are chosen, a, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light that will be the signs and wonders of his glory then came the word of the lord unto jeremiah saying behold i am the lord the god of all flesh is there anything too hard for me Therefore, thus say the Lord, Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the Chaldeans, and into the hand of Nechemines, or king of Babylon, and he shall take it. Uh, this will be, um, that, that, that will be the warning. We will go into Babylon. Uh, he will take it over. And the Chaldeans that fight against the city shall come and set fire on the city and burn it with the houses upon whose roofs they have offered incense unto Baal, and they poured out drink offerings unto other gods to provoke me to anger. Um, Chaldeans, they were the people who lived in, in the southern Babylon. They were intelligent, aggressive, warlike people. Prophetically, they will come against those of Benjamin, Benjamin meaning son of, thy, of the south, south meaning the treasure house, that, that tra uh, um, spiritual treasure house. Uh, this will be those that will, um, there will be, that will be supernatural, that will resist the Holy Spirit, that will inhabit, inhabit the vessels they choose to speak through to resist those that are of the stars. Uh, in Revelation 12, verse 9, And that great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out onto the, onto the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. 
those that serve that man system savior uh, that came when that star wormwood fell that um, brought um, the commands that resist um, the commands uh, of the Lord um, his laws and we'll read of that in Revelation um, chapter 8 starting with verse 10 we'll read of that star wormwood And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. It's not the lamp, it burns as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of that star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. Wormwood means bitterness, but it also means a calamity. A calamity is an event that causes great and often um, di a sudden disaster, distress, destruction. We know destruction means Apollyon, Abaddon, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden uh, destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. That sudden disaster, distress, destruction that came upon us is the coronavirus. Corona meaning crown, crown being a circular headdress worn by a monarch as a symbol of authority. And that authority is to keep their laws as that man's savior. Um, and then I'm going to go over to Exodus 20, starting with verse 3. Thy shall have no other gods before me. Thy shall not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. And thy shall not bow down themselves to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the fourth, and gener fourth generation of them that hate me. Uh, if you love me, you keep my commandments. The opposite of love is hate. These are those that are keeping the commandments of God over the commandments of, of, of Yahweh. An image, thy shall not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything. Image is a representation of the external form of a person or thing in art. The general impression that a person, an organization, or a product presents to the public. Uh, make a representation of the external form of a physical image uh, in art. Um, this thing um, being uh, in art um, is, is that coronavirus symbol. Uh, corona meaning crown. That's being that symbol of their authority um, of choosing man savior over um, Jesus Christ. You lose, you're leaving your first love going to another love. And uh, for the children, um, back to Jeremiah 32, 30, for the children of Israel and the children of Judah have only done evil before me for, from their youth. For the children of Israel have only provoked me to anger with the work of their hands, says the Lord, with the work of their hands, not his right hand of power, that ruling scepter of true Judah, um, with the... Um, prophet with that one prophet verse 17 for this city has been to me as a provocation of my anger and of my fury from the day that they built it even unto this day that I should remove it from before um, my face that they had built it um, that being um, when that star wormwood fell that brought the altar uh, to serve man to save you that Babylonian city of Babel uh, they will not look upon his face. He will withdraw himself, that being the Holy Spirit, Yahweh. Because of all the evil of the children of Israel and of the children of Judah, which they have done to provoke me to anger, they, their kings, their princes, their priests, and their prophets, and the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And they turned unto me the back and not the face. Though I taught them rising up early and teaching them, yet they have not hearkened to receive instruction. This being the morning star, that spiritual messenger of the morning, uh, feeding you with truth. He will lead you to this prophet, but instead of listening, they turn their back. They will not receive instruction. They just want to hear smooth things, not instructions and judgments. What is he going to do for us? What is he going to do to prosper us? 
But they set their abom abominations in the house, which is called by my name to defile it, that being Yahweh. And they built the high places of Baal, which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to cause their sons and their daughters to pass through the fire into Moloch, which I commanded them not. Neither came into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin. The Valley of Hinnom was a landmark um, setting the boundaries of the territories of Judah and Benjamin. Um, stands as a figure of final punishment. It was the place of per where the perpetual burning garbage dump, where they threw dead animals out of out, um, out of side of the city of Jerusalem. Upon the return from the exile in Babylon, some of the Jews settled in the villages around Jerusalem. Son of Hinnon, son being the house uh, as to build, builder of the family, and Hinnon meaning uh, to wail, lamb it, cry or groan, a noisy multitude. It was associated with the underworld. All things spiritual were associated with the upper body and all things lower uh, physical relating to lust association between things of hell and all things pleasurable the root word henna means to please um, enjoy pleasure uh, the pagan traditions imagine hell to the underworld the realm of the dead uh, rather a lively place in the jewish tradition was the place of sleep moloch meaning king master lord also baal uh, meaning to lord over God is called Lord, and the sin of the Baal priests was not that they called upon some other deity, but rather their insistent howling of the word Lord without any further uh, responsibility or effect. They call on the name of the Lord, but their faith does not show it. By wearing of their masks, standing six feet apart as in the weakness of man, and taking of the vaccine, they are choosing man's savior to save them, but calling on the name of the Lord while they do it. They wear their mask in their churches, sitting six feet apart on their pews, and they open the doors for them to receive of the vaccine, um, sending the children to the fire of the prick of that serpent venom while calling on the name of the Lord. It is an abominable act. Thirty six. And now, therefore, thus say the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning this city, whereof you say it shall be delivered uh, unto the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Uh, I will not do it. He will gather his his chosen himself because he is a cardio knower. Well, wait a minute. And now, therefore, thus say the Lord God of Israel concerning the city, wherefore you say it shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Behold, I will gather them out of the countries, whether I have driven them in my anger and in my fury and in great wrath, and I will bring them again into this place, and I will cause them to dwell safely. It will, it will be I that will do it, Yahweh. He will gather his chosen himself, because he be in that cardio knower. Uh, he knows their hearts and and they shall be my people and I will be their God and I will give them one heart and one way and that they may fear me forever for the good of them and for their children after them uh, one way that is be in the Lord's way and the Lord shall be king over all the earth in that day there shall be one Lord in his name one uh, that will be one voice speaking for God on the Lord's day uh, the two witnesses um, Yahweh um, I, Yahweh, the spirit, and M being the vessel that holds that spirit. One voice. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them, and I will not turn away from them to do them good, but I will put my uh, fear in their hearts that they shall not depart from me. Uh, that will be the reverence of him as in God, uh, the everlasting uh, covenant of the spirit, the opening of the heart, um, the heart womb to allow him to come in, that rebirth. Yea, I will rejoice over them to do them good, and I will plant them in this land assuredly with my whole heart and with my whole soul. For thus say the Lord, like as I have brought all the great evil upon this people, so will I bring upon them all the good that I promised them. 
and, and field shall be bought in this land whereof you say it is desolate with man or beast. It is given unto the hand of the Chaldeans. Men shall buy fields for money and subscribe evidences and seal them and take witnesses in the land of Benjamin and the places about Jerusalem and the cities of Jerusalem and the cities of the mountains and the cities of the valley and in the cities of the south. And I will cause their captivity to return, says the Lord. These be in the men that refuse, that hold the money bags, that buy the fields, the fields um, where the um, where being they buy the fields, the burying place um, of the dead bodies. Um, this prophetically is the merchandising of souls, sending them to hell. That being outside of the outside of the city uh, of Jerusalem. Jerusalem being a condition of truth, a perpetual burning where they would throw the dead things in the garbage, being worthless. You are worthless to the Lord in the flesh. Prophetically, those of the flesh that are worthless in God's kingdom, they will not be able to come into his dwelling because they are filthy. We are listening. We are to listen to his instructions, as in verse 33. But they instead set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name, to defile it. That being the name of the Lord, they insistently call on his name while they do their sinful, abominable acts. Everything spiritually will be sealed to those that refuse to listen to his instructions. They will not know spiritual wisdom because they are the garbage outside of the city of Jerusalem. Jerusalem being that condition of truth. And then 33, um, 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the second time while he was yet shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus say the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great mighty things which thou knowest not. Uh, it is I that will do this, Yahweh. Call on him uh, for truth, instructions before his judgments, uh, not smooth things. Listen. Um, to the spiritual truths um, that you know not. Um, if you are in the flesh, you know them not. He has to open your eyes to them. Um, listen to them before um, the four winds are released. Then it will be too late. That uh, window of opportunity will be closed. The marriage chamber door will be shut. For thus say the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah, which are thrown down by the mounts and by the sword. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but is to fill them with the dead bodies of men whom I have slain in my anger and in my fury. And for all whose wickedness I have hid my face from the city, behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. He is the great, our great physician. He is the one that will cure. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of, captivity of Israel to return and will build them as the first. He will build them as the first, as in that sepulcher that was not purchased but given, Genesis 23, verse 4, because it belongs to him. In verse 6, the children of Heth, meaning to deplete of strength and courage and willpower, thou art a mighty prince among us in the choice of our sepulchers but thy mayest um, bury the dead um the dead are, are those that are buried but the sepulcher <coughs> that one sepulcher belonged to god's children it was not to be purchased but given they have no power over it that being that rock that being spiritually his seed line. A sepulcher is a small room or a monument cut in a rock, built of stone, where a dead person was laid. He is the rock, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And, and that rock was Christ. Um, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, and in him and in him whom I trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. He will save us from our spiritual death. He is the rock, that, the sepulcher, not those that are purchased by the soul merchandisers of the dead, are buried in the ground. How aren't thy fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How aren't thy cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? He is of the ground. The children of Heth, meaning to deplete of strength and courage and willpower that was given uh, money 
to bury the dead, the field that was purchased. And I will cleanse them from all their iniquity whereby they have sinned against me. And I will pardon all their iniquities whereby they have sinned and whereby they have tra transgressed against me. If you just come to him, open up your heart, and it shall be to me a name of joy, praise, and honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them. And they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto it. Thus say the Lord, again there shall be heard in this place, which you sh uh, shall say shall be desolate without man and without beast, even in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate without man and without inhabitant and without beast. The voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, and the voice of them that shall say, Praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And of them that shall bring forth, the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord for I will cause to return the captivity of the land as at the first says the Lord he will he will clear it out clean it out of those that offend it will be a holy place undefiled no garbage we will reverence him as God the voice of the bride and the bridegroom that time of the marriage to come that opening of that heart womb that chamber door thus say the lord of hosts again in this place which is desolate without man and without beast and all the cities thereof shall be an habitation of shepherds causing their flocks to lie down the land of the lord of hosts um, those that have the spirit of yahweh within them you must be willing to give up your fleshly bodies uh, for the um the indwelling of yahweh this being the true shepherds that will cause their flocks to lie down. They, they can rest and, uh, and be filled, be filled with knowledge. And the cities of the mountains and the cities of the vale and the cities of the south and the land of Benjamin and the places about Jerusalem and the cities of Judah shall the flocks pass again under the hands of him that telleth them, says the Lord. Hands as in power of him that telleth them as to enumerate and roll. Um, these being those that are instructed by him, the Yahweh, the spotter of the sheep. He counts them as they go in, separating the, the good from the bad. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will perform that good thing, which I have promised unto the house of Israel, unto the house of Judah. And those days, and at that time, will I cause the branch of righteousness to grow up into David, and he shall execute judgment and righteousness in the land. Branches to spring forth, David being the beloved, verse 11, execute judgment and righteousness, not smooth things, but instructions and judgments to prepare you to be suitable vessels for his arrival for the marriage. And then 16. And in those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely, and this is the name wherewith he, he, she shall be called. Um, the Lord our righteousness they will come together in righteousness Jerusalem be in a condition of truth Judah be in those that are one in Christ Jesus for you brethren have become the followers of churches of God which are in Judea which are in Christ uh, Jesus uh, wherewith she shall be called she be in that bride that has come um, they've come together they are one in heart one in one in flesh the beloved and the beloved for thus say the Lord, David shall never want a man to sit upon the throne of the house of Israel, um, because they are one. David meaning the beloved and Mary being the beloved. The bride has come and has made herself ready. Uh, man, there will be no more flesh man. Uh, the six day man's labor and work will be finished. We are now in a different uh, dimension of spirit. Neither shall the priests of the Levites want a man before me to offer burnt offerings and to kindle meat offerings and to do sacrifices continually. The true Levitical priesthood of the lively stones, handpicked by Jesus Christ himself, our high priest Melchizedek. And the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus say the Lord God, if you break my covenant of the day and my covenant of the night, and there shall not be uh, day and night in their season then may also my covenant be broken with David my servant that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne and with the Levites the priests my ministers as the host of heaven cannot be numbered neither the sand of sea measured so will I multiply the seed of David my servant and the Levites that minister unto me 
Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, saying, Considerest thou not what this people have spoken, saying, The two families which the Lord has chosen, he has even cast them off? Thus they have despised my people, that they should be no more nation before them? Thus say the Lord, If my covenant be not with day and night, and if, and if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth, then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David my servant, so that I will not take any of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For I will cause their captivity to return and have mercy on them, that being the seed of the stars of Yahweh, the acrostic um, that makes up that name Israel. And you have a great day, elect, until the morning.